Hi, and welcome to our beam portion of the balance beam tutorial. We're going to begin this tutorial off by laying a set of double bands, two bands, all the way down our left side of our loom. Then you want to lay two bands all the way down the center portion of the loom to the very end. Pause the video here until you get those double bands laid all the way down those two rows of your loom. Just for video purposes, I have already done that today. Now I want you to hit pause and catch up. Let's begin again. Now that we have our two complete rows of double bands, we want to take two bands and go from the center peg to the left peg. We need to cap off this left peg with a single band wrapped four times around. One, two, three, four times around. The next thing we need to do is lay horizontal bands over each of the two pegs to hold the piece together. This is one of three times that we need to do this. So this is going to be one end of our balance beam. We're going to do a transfer in just a few minutes where we'll need to load it back up and transfer to extend our beam in length. And then we will have to do it a third time attaching the other set of legs. All I'm simply doing here is to take a single band and I'm double twisting it around every one of my pegs to form the horizontals that will hold the piece together. You do not want to do the last set of pegs. We'll be doing that in the next step. Take your leg with a smaller beam pointing towards you and we're going to place the small beam, the small little portion right here on the center peg from the bottom. So center peg from the bottom, I'm sorry, second peg on the left straight up. And you just slide that right over that second peg. Now I'm going to count up seven pegs and that's where we're going to be placing our top portion. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Stretch those bands out over your seventh peg. and remove your toothpick or your skewer. So we have the small leg, the small portion on the second peg, and the thicker portion on the seventh peg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pegs up. Now we want to begin to loom our beam. Reach into your cap band, grab the two bands that are going to go off to the right, Grab your other two bands and we're just going to loom right up the left portion. Reach into that leg and blue leg area. You may need to pull the leg out just a little bit so you can see what's going on down there. But basically it is a straightforward looming single loom straight up. Hit pause if you need to. It is a little difficult to see the leg area sometimes. But I've just pulled that back. Reach in through all those leg pieces and your horizontal piece. Don't grab your horizontal piece on that one. And grab the two bottom bands. If there's too much tension on this peg, take the back of your hook or your toothpick or your skewer and just run it around that peg to release some of that tension. And then we're just going to continue to loom straight forward up to the end. And we want to come back down to the bottom. And we're going to be looming straight forward up the line. Very simple, straightforward looming. 
keep going up. Need some elevator music in this area. But we're not allowed to play music in the background for copyright issues, so I'm so sorry about that. You just have to hear me ramble and blah, 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 blah. But we're just simple. Oop, missed one. Anybody catch that? Straightforward, looping, loop, loop. Okay. And now we're complete with this portion. Take your toothpick, stick in those ends. Take another toothpick or a skewer and stick in that other end. And we need to lift this off the loom. Simply hold on to those toothpicks and peel it off your loom. When you get to the leg area, I would suggest taking the back of your hook or something just to stick in there and relieve that leg area. And the different type of bands that you use, not everybody's going to use the same kind of bands, so it's going to have a different elasticity to it. That's why I couldn't tell you exactly how long your wire needs to be yet. But this is going to be our one end of our beam. We're going to weave this piece in in just a little bit when we're finished. So we need to set this aside, and you guessed it, we need to load our loom up again with two bands, two bands, two bands, two more bands, and we're basically just doing two bands all the way down the loom. Very simple. Once you guys see this, you're going to be like, oh, really? That's so simple. But the concept of the legs is a little difficult, but this portion is very easy. Just straightforward laying of two bands all the way down. And remember what I said about the elasticity. I cannot say that word, but you guys know what I mean, and you're probably giggling. <laughs> and we want to come to our center portion, and we're just going to do the same thing. Just keep on looming all the way down not looming, we're laying right now. We're just laying our bands. You can fast forward, pause, go get a cup of hot tea, a latte. Just keep laying those bands all the way down. And your fingers are gonna hurt when you're done because we are completing a lot of bands. But I'm going to say it again. You guys asked for this tutorial. So I'm giving it to you. Okay. Now we need to do our horizontals. And I'm going to start off at the bottom. I'm skipping the last peg. We'll, we'll take care of that one in just a minute. So I'm coming second pegs up. One band. Double twist. One band. Double twist. One band, double twist, push those down a little bit, single band, double twist, single band, double twist, single, double twist. And these are horizontal bands. As I said, if I work too fast for you, hit the pause button. If I'm going too slow for you, by all means, fast forward, fast forward until you see the transfer part happen. I would pause and hit the transfer part. Because that's where we're going to be adding our first piece that we completed on. So just double twist, one, double twist. And you do not want to do your last one. Do not do the last peg. Turn my loom back around here. Take our toothpicks and you want to slide the center one over the center. And the left one over the left. You 
Now, many of you have noticed that I did not put a horizontal band there. It's not going to really hurt anything not to put it, but if you wanted to, you could lift up the top loops. Just lift up those top loops and then lay a double twist on top of that. And then lay your top loops back on again. That's going to keep the horizontal bands in the center. But if you don't feel like doing that step, it's not super necessary to have them. It is good to have them, but not absolutely. It's not going to cause a whole lot of problems if you don't. Now, guess what, guys? We're just going to loop straight forward. Loop just like you would any straight forward looping. Pause. Cup of tea, cappuccino, keep looming straight forward. Make your little sister do this part for you. <laughs> little brother, you can get some practice just on straight forward looming. Let's keep going until you get to the end again. And then start off down here at the bottom. And reach in there and grab those two bands and straightforward loom. Next part's going to be exciting because we have to remember to add our additional leg. So we're just going to keep straight forward, straight forward. I'm going too fast. Remember, there's a pause button. The straightforward looming. Da da da. I won't quit my day job to become a singer, I promise. promise. Okay, so I've completed everything all the way to the end. And guess what? We have to transfer one more time. Take your toothpicks or your skewers, stick in each end. And then we need to pull this off the loom. Don't have any legs to worry about on this area. But there we go. There's our second set of bands. Just give them a little tug, stretch out there a little bit. And of course, different types of bands. It's going to react different ways. So there's our second part. Center portion of our beam. And now we need to lay all the way down the left again. All the way down the right again. But before we begin that part, we need to take two bands, go from our left to our center peg, and that's going to finish off our beam at the very end. So this is very important. Take a set of two bands and go from your left to your center peg. Before you start to lay two bands all the way down the loom again. So I'm just laying two bands all the way down the loom. Fast forward, elevator music, cup of hot tea, cappuccino, latte, white chocolate mocha. That's my favorite, white chocolate mocha. I'm sure everybody's heard of Starbucks. Starbucks have really good white chocolate mochas. But we have a local company. Mm, they make the best mochas, white chocolate mochas. Okay, I must admit, I love coffee. All the way down the left side. And then we're going to come do the center. Two bands. Two bands. Two bands. And see, now I get to figure out who really watches my videos and pays attention. Because if anybody leaves a little comment about my love of white chocolate mochas, I'll know that you paid attention during the video. So two bands. Two bands. And the other thing too, I've got a little secret coming up. And that's that I have uneven bars. Ha ha ha. Yes, I said it. Uneven bars. That I'm working on. They're not quite ready to present to anyone yet, but I am working on uneven bars. 
So here we've loomed or laid our bands all the way on our left and all the way down the center to the very end. And now we need to take our cap bands again and we just need to single band, double twist. How many people have replayed that area and said, did she say uneven bars? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, single band, double twist. Got so excited about the uneven bars. Now that'll give you something else to comment about. There we go. Sorry about this guy. He's just trying to, trying to go fast because most of you will fast forward through this. Be like, oh yeah, got this down. So, but for those that need the little extra guidance, I want to be be sure to show these steps. This is a little difficult project because of all the transfers. So, if you're having problems with it, ask your mom or dad or older sibling to kind of help you with it if they loom also. It is what I would call a, an advanced project. Okay, so I'm, I'm horizontal banding it to the next to the last one. We don't need to worry about the last one because we have the bands that we laid at the very beginning. And guess what guys? We need to transfer again. Take our center bands and lay on there. Take your left bands and lay across there. And then I will take the top loop back off, the top loop back off, and I will lay a single band, double twist it across there, so that horizontal band, just because I'm a little picky. Like I said, you don't have to have that step in there, but I like to have it. And then take your upper band and place back over. Now, we cannot forget about our other set of legs. We've already done the one set of legs. Now we need to come down here, we need to do the last set of legs. And for this set, we need to take our short portion, second peg from the top on the left. So short portion, second peg from the top. And then we're gonna come down seven pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pegs. I'm going to stretch that out and my large portion, the larger part, is going to go on the seventh peg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So stretch that down there. And stretch it over. And now my hands are in the way. I'm sorry about that. Some things they just have to be. So stretch that over. Make sure you got all your loops on there, and I do not. So I'm having problems with this one, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to turn this a little bit. I just can't get it from that angle. I apologize. Okay. And you need to do whatever works best for you. Just get that big thick area. There we go. All of them down there on there. Okay. Sorry for the rotation there, but I just had to do that. I'm sorry for that really loud noise. Okay. Now we need to complete our loom. You got it. Start off at the bottom again. Reach in and we're going to be doing straight forward, straight forward, looming all the way up. And once you get to that leg area, remember it's going to be a lot of tension on there and it's going to be really thick. And you need to reach way down in there, reach way down in there and get those bottom two bands. Pull them up and over. And just pull the leg area out a little bit so you can see. Two bands come forward, 
two bands come forward, two bands come forward. forward. There we go, another tight area where you need to reach in and get your bottom two bands. And straight forward. We don't want to worry about that last piece yet. I'm going to start back down here at the bottom. Two bands. Woo. Straight forward. And I lost one of them. Don't panic if you do that. Like I just did. <laughs> Project's almost complete and I've lost a band. I'm just simply reorganizing them. I'm going to loop it on by my fingers. And there we go. Back on there again. That's what I get for being in a hurry. And just come straight forward. I am using the Rainbow Loom Caramel Bands. Um, not super crazy about the color. I ordered them thinking it would be like those little caramel chocolate can or the caramel candies, the little squares, but it's kind of more of a rust orange. So I want you guys to be aware that um, there is a difference in their caramel color. Okay, now I've reached the last portion. I'm going to reach in and go from the center over to the left. And now I want to tie off my piece by taking a single band, reaching in there, and slip knotting it. And be sure to get all those pieces. And you just want to slip knot that off. And now we're ready to pull it off the loom. Moment of truth. Be sure to reach in there and grab those bands with the legs. Don't just yank it right off. Reach that area with the legs again. I take my hook down and I pull it up. And then we can continue to take the rest off the loom. And here we have a very flimsy looking balance beam. In order to get the balance beam more stable, that is where a piece of wire is going to come into play. And you guys guessed it. You need to take that piece of wire and run it through and weave it in those horizontal bands. Just weave back and forth, back and forth. Or if you're really good and you can get it to go through the center of those horizontal bands, that's great. But this is a pretty easy one just to kind of slide through and get it to go right through your center. Just slide it right through there, those two bands, and pick up some of those horizontals along the way. And just keep sliding it all the way through. And I cut my wire, or it started off with my wire being about 12 inches, but as I stated earlier, you never know um, the elasticity. El I can't say that word, guys, I just give up on it. But you don't know how much elastic is in your bands. So here I have it all jumbled up together. You can pull it down your wire some, whatever length you want your balance beam to be. I had mine at about eight inches, but just stretch it out to whatever length you want it to be. And then take your wire cutters again, the ones that we used at the beginning so long ago and just trim off the end. Be sure not to cut your rubber band. Just trim off that end. And then our leg piece here is sticking out some. You just wanna take it and weave it through that last loop or so and put it through those support braces, that support brace, and just kinda let it rest on the wire up there. And you wanna do the same thing for the opposite side. Weave Finish weaving the leg piece through. And fiddling is going to be the name of the game, guys. You just have to fiddle with it and play with it to get it how you want it. Um, I just do it quickly for the video purposes, but just play with it, get it how you want it, and it will stand up on its own. I'm not saying that you're going to be able to, you know, 
physically take your gymnast and make her cartwheel all the way down it. It's not going to be that strong, but this will look really neat um, on a shelf in your bedroom or if you have a local gym that you go to, you know, you can make your gymnast and your beam and present it to your instructor there. So that is going to be our balance beam tutorial. And if you guys will post on my Facebook page, Crafty Ladybug Rainbow Loom Creations, I would love to see how your balance beam turned out. Thanks so much, and please let me know if I can do anything else for you. Thanks!